best Chinese restaurant in Trinidad and Tobago. We're looking to find the best one. And the first place we are by is Fu Kuang Chinese restaurant here in Fu Kuang in Digo Martin. And right now we're on the main road in Digo Martin, just a bit off of Wesby's. If you look on that side, we have Universal Plumbing. I've never seen that place before in my life. But if you want another landmark, it's opposite there. Yeah, and there's basically a Chinese restaurant on every corner now. Let's just like how they are those people. So, I mean, here's the first one that we're trying in a series. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see more. All right, there we go. Alright, so we're inside Fu Kuang. Fu Kuang. And uh, as you can see, the menu is hefty. We have rice, Fu Kuang. noodles, chicken. The noodles, well, I'll talk about the noodles just now. We have wontons. We have chicken pow. Everything is chicken because we don't eat like pork and things. We have chunky veg. We have spring roll, also chicken inside. And well, yeah, I guess some pepper, soy sauce, and that kind of thing. You know, the Ketchup. funny thing is, we could eat beef, but. I yeah. think the regular thing people normally eat at a Chinese restaurant is chicken. Yeah. The normal common food that we're trying right now that everybody does eat from lunch or you're coming home from work is a rice, noodle, chow mein, chicken. Yeah, I mean... And we had no chow mein here. Yeah. We had chunky veg. For the first video, you know, we're not going to go so wild and get you all something that you probably will never pick up. We'll try these good things, the normal things first. Obviously, if you go to yeah, if the household items tasting good, then they can say, you know, let me try something special, you know, because they the household items just taste good. So let me get into some of this food. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty chunky bench. I like ketchup on my thing. When you when you go for dining, in, they usually don't get your ketchup. Apparently, you're not supposed to eat Chinese with ketchup. I don't know. So, were you taking out individual vegetables? I, 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 Just scoop the thing now, boy. <laughs> I, my favorite vegetable is broccoli. Well, it leaves some broccoli for me, no? Well, that's season, yeah, three, apparently. You see? Hashtag justice for Sires once again. Please, guys. When will I get justice? All right, so what are we tasting first? Let me taste your rice first. All right, there we go. So they have beans, carrots, green beans. The green beans don't look like it's fully cooked. They look like they were thrown in after. And then we have the carrots. Look like they was cooked with the rice. No, I don't know how you tell her, but use a chef. There's a nice brown tape. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is nice. So the rice isn't soft, soft, soft. It also isn't hard, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. They would have cooked it to medium. And then... <laughs> medium rare? Not medium rare, but medium and then washed it. To cool it off so that it stops cooking and then fried it. At least that's the texture again. Because if they fried it while it was hot, it would have gotten, it would have been soft. I do think that the soya sauce, because I added soya sauce to mine, it really adds to the rice. I don't know how people just eat Chinese food dry, dry, dry. Mm -hmm. You have to put some kind of something in it. So time for my favorite part. I always get noodles. So when I was a child, I never used to like rice. Only noodles in Chinese. Whole oh, I mean Chinese. For Chinese. Ooh. I have to say though that the noodles here is a lot smaller than I'm usually than I usually. This like. is how they cook it now. Like a lot of places, they way. change they change how they made in noodles. I prefer the thicker ones. If you all know what I'm talking about, like yeah, we the like them. Usually thick, thick with three C's. That one's thin noodles. I just buy mm. Singapore. I don't really like Singapore. The oyster sauce. The taste is still there though. Really good. You gotta add some of that. If you didn't add it. Now, the cameraman got some Singapore rolls. He doesn't want any Singapore rolls, so I'll try it. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't fancy Singapore rolls. So, 
Let me try it. It is nice. It's, it's almost a bit earthy. You can taste the vegetables mixing with it. I do say I personally prefer normal noodles over Singapore noodles. So if you like either, here does both well. And they, they close here at 6, so if you're coming out to here, Fukuang, I forget any way to say They close at 6, so make sure you come in time, right? And you can dine in, you just have to pay 10% um, what is called a commission. You just have to pay 10% of whatever you buy to dine in. So if you buy something for $10, dollars eleven dollars in total. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I've already gotten into the chunky veg. I was in my food. Well, let me try then. Since you already just bypassing me. Fun fact, broccoli is my favorite vegetable. Mm. So when I buy chunky veg, I actually ask for more broccoli. I didn't do that here though. I wanted to see how much they would have given me. It wasn't a lot. It was three. What broccoli. is that? A kind of thick, soft moisture around the chunky veg. What's that? I don't know. It's nice. Some kind of sauce. Now I will say I am tasting the garlic. You can see there's a lot of garlic. On the food, sprinkled about. The only thing that would have made this 10 out of 10 for me would have been less of the garlic. I'm not a huge fan of too much garlic, but it is nice. So we're going to try wontons. They sell wontons here. It's how much for the dozen? We got 32 for this portion that we have here. $32 for... A dozen? Yeah, but if you're counting and it's not iron up, it's because the camera woman already deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me tell you a secret, eh? While she's recording right now, she already eats half a box of food. Half. All right, I don't say. Eh. I, like, I like how this, this arm one time is shaped. I get to kind of dress it like a, a oyster shell. Throw all my sauces in the middle. So I get a fast shot in the whole thing. Ready? Let me get you a shot. I like how you like, it on you. Ready? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A nice crunch, as you would have heard. They kept the but not crunchy all over, so just the lips are crunchy. Well, pause. And the sack again is well it's soft and the i guess the stuff inside is accessible nice no i don't want to jump ahead but so far the ones are the favorite for me already i really like the ones very flavorful mm. i like the little pockets that not how they make it okay four more sauces in it wow mm. I wouldn't recommend you try to fit the whole thing in your mouth, boss. But this is really nice. Remember, you put the whole thing in your mouth. You just beat in dry flour. You could bite it in half. <laughs> I just bit it. So I'll take the left hand side, don't worry. No, you don't know I'm watching it already. Ooh. Now I am going to eat this yeah? like a Subway sandwich. They might try all my sauces on once. Yeah. Like now, a gyro, so far, like a gyro. I'm surprised that I'm not missing any ketchup. I now realize I haven't used any ketchup at all. Oh, God, how do you can? Hey, yo, hey, yo. Wait, come out. Just play the way you play it. <laughs> I want to put papa. Well, put the papa after. <laughs> We're just going straight through. How much sauce did you put in that? A little bit. It's still dripping. What is Two? That? Two what? Two drops? I don't know what you're trying to tell us. Bro, why did you dress that so much? I like how it's looking like that. Bro, that is too much. All right. So, that is too much. I can't bring it all yet. So you gotta come. See it? I'm going in for the bite, the whole thing on top. All right, let's go. He feel, he feel. Mm. This is how you're supposed to do it.
Mm. So um, <clears throat> moving on, um, <laughs> I would say the wonton skin is very nice. And there's a lot of filling. They didn't minge on the filling. You know, some places they like to, you know, you, you, you get a chicken puff. And it's almost like they just use a butter knife to butter the puff. This is not like that. They made sure to fill this. So if my brother here has finished munching, what do you think? I got a fresh taste in it. Fresh taste from the chicken? I think so. That's what I smell it. I'm not smelling it, but I tasted it for sure. That could just be a one-off thing. But it's what I tasted, so, you know. Not bad, though. The flavor. I think it, is, it has a lot to do with the sauces. Right. But the sauces are very nice. I'm surprised normally you don't eat so much. And he's almost finished with the wonton. I never ate a fowl before. Well, let me try one time. All right. Yeah. Same knife? Yeah, cut it up. For those who are custom eating fowl. I've never eat a, eaten a fowl before. The meat is usually just like in the middle. <laughs> and a whole bunch of air. It's the same thing with this one. So there's not much meat in it. Um, I think people just buy it for the texture. Yeah, I don't know. I personally, I don't have to have it if I go somewhere. This feels almost like a soft, a hopper's bread. Something like that. All right, there we go. Pieces, yeah. Mm. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of both. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I am I'm a customer to this, so it's not that I just don't like power, it's I don't like this one. I get the freshness again, did you get it? No. All right. It just wasn't as flavorful as the other stuff for me. Yeah. So finally, the chicken. Let's do the chicken. Skin test first or whole thing? Let's do the whole thing. Ready? So chicken, let's go. Keep it yummy. The skin is nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the skin is very crispy. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called. Do we call it dry fry? Yeah, fry dry. Fry dry. Or is it dry fry? Anyway. Extra fry. <laughs> so if you are accustomed eating Chinese food, mm. usually you expect the fry dry or Chinese style chicken to be salty. This one isn't. Mm -hmm. You get any saltiness? It's not overly salty. Yeah. And, not salty. and it's really nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. And we didn't ask for a special way, so this is probably how the chicken is normally. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you prefer it salty though? I wish I could get some soy sauce. Maybe that's what we're missing. For the saltiness. I rather manage the saltiness for myself. So if I need to add that with soy sauce, I rather that. I, I like it this way. Oh, by the way, the soy sauce is cold. Is that how it's supposed to be said? I, I've never wondered that. Is like, is ketchup supposed to be served cold? You know, you're just accustomed to eating ketchup from the fridge. Well, I guess if you keep it in the fridge. Okay, okay. well. Because in case you don't keep it in the fridge. Why do we keep it in the fridge? So it will spoil it, but I guess people walk in KFC every day. I guess. Okay, so what was your favorite part of the meal? My favorite part of the meal was the wontons. Same. Now, I like the chicken, the fried chicken. That would have been the second. But for me, the wontons, I could just come in here and get wontons as a snack and be content. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the least favored item on the menu? People. By far. Mm -hmm. I've never eaten a pao before. But I don't think I'm going to get to that again. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if you think that the pow here was just a bad one and you think I should try it again or if pow is really just ain't it. I don't know where to get pow if you eat pow. Yeah. Well, we have to drink for the outro, so. Good, so by now you would have pulled the names for the giveaway. Hopefully you would have won if you did win. You're collecting your prize 
four persons. I said four. Are collecting their prizes of two hundred dollars worth in chicken. Two hundred. Two hundred dollars each. Whoa. Per person. That is more. What we ate in the video was like probably sixty something dollars. Or seventy something dollars. It was about eighty. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> you can get that plus more, mm -hmm. more than one store. So you're collecting your prize at MVE Collectibles, the sponsor of the video and the sponsor of this video. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the sponsor of this video as well. Check out MVE Collectibles for all your gaming needs. Um, you can collect the gift card or coupon at MVE Collectibles. Just ask for Mark or Ronaldo, and they will give it to you. They'll hook you up. They will already know who comes in. So just tell them your name. So guys, if you want to be a part of more giveaways in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and follow MVE as well because they have been supporting us and they are really nice establishment. So make sure to check them out. And guys, until next time, keep, keep it yummy. yummy.